Hey everybody, uh, welcome to a uh, special edition of the uh, Public Business Podcast. I'm here with Kyle Smith and the band, fellas. What's going on? What up? What up? Uh, so stoked, man. Got uh, Scotty B over here. We got Chris, my man Kyle Smith, and uh, so you guys uh, out on tour again, you know, doing your thing. So what's uh, what's what's uh, how many shows you got this tour? What you guys got going down? I think it's 26 or 22. 23, 24, somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Uh, so we did, uh, we did all of uh, Texas, uh, Oklahoma. We did all of Florida. We did Texas again, uh, Arizona, and then we are like in the middle. Shit, we're like in the middle of hitting uh, all of California right now. Hell so yeah. Uh, yeah, and then one in Vegas, and then one back in SD. How much travel are you guys? You guys are freaking flyer miles with you for your car. So, uh, <laughs> so I just got the van, and in. Three weeks, we did almost a little over eight thousand miles. Damn. Drove to Florida and back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. three weeks. Man, y'all, y'all better get along. Be so that much time together. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? We do pretty fucking I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I'm that's a little cool. bitch in the morning. <laughs> we all are. It hurts. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I think considering how close we are to each other, twenty four seven, and. Um, some of the things that I've heard from other touring bands, like we do fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, right. You guys <laughs> we really brothers, do. So. We're all brothers, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you guys, you know, you play well together, man. Your music's incredible. You know Thanks, what I mean? Dude. You guys, you guys kill it. So. Thanks, man. But um, you know, so what? Uh, you know, what should the fans be looking for th- this tour? You know what I mean? Like, what's what's new? Uh, we are a little bit more well put together, but a little more loose at the same time. If that makes any sense. A tighter, uh, a what I've been telling everyone that I talk to in the audience is we did a lot of direct support last year for really big acts. Uh, we did full mm. national tours mm-hmm. following big buses around, yeah. watching big bands operate with big venues and management between the bands and even the catering people and the waiters and the janitors and everybody. Yeah. We observed so much. So this year in a brand new van with the tour manager with our heads on straight, we have a little bit of new gear too. We're kind of like <laughs> on this like elevated you know experience where we're just ready to go you know when we're you know when you've been working somewhere for a little while you finally like got the swing of shit right. you're like oh yeah i got this it's like the jefferson's been moving on up moving you know? on yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. i'm, I'm yeah. starting to feel really really comfortable in what we are doing and, and what we are trying to achieve out there yeah. and i believe that we are we've been very successful in this tour so far man well i should so. I, you know i hope one day when you guys you know come back here i gotta go to uh you know, like the forums you guys play. You know? <laughs> that'd be great, man. That'd be so cool, man. That'd be, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, the crowd's uh, been unreal this tour. Yeah. It's like yeah. the best we've had. Yeah. Like everybody showed up every every show. Every. And just the yeah. loudest we've ever heard crowds singing. It's a good feeling. It's got to be cool. You yeah. Know, it's like people, you know, that you're in some land you've never been and then people are singing your lyrics, jamming out and... Yeah, because I know my daughter, uh, she went and saw you guys in Maryland. We just nice. played at the 8x10. Baltimore. And Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah, 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 she's loved it, you know. So you guys, you know, picking up fans everywhere. She listens to you guys all the time now. Awesome. Yeah, she knows all the lyrics and jams to it. Yeah, so. fuck yeah, man. That's yeah, awesome. that only took one show, you know what I mean? So that, that that's a compliment to you guys because, you know, a lot of times you see a band, you're like, okay, whatever. You know, next thing you know, they're buying your music and listening to your music. That's, I feel like it's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like people hear the songs and they're like, yeah, whatever. And then they come to the show and they're like, holy fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, the show is a I don't know. We, we just try to make it as fun as possible and we just lose our shit on stage every single night, no matter what, you know, no matter no matter how many days in a row we're going, no matter how many people are there or not there, how, how we feel, fucking no matter what, when, when we're fucking on, it's just like the same mode every single fucking night, you know, yeah. like 120% and just... Caf- driven by caffeine and fucking impure thoughts, oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking, we just go hard. <laughs> yeah, we go hard. Yeah. All those energy drinks, man. Just get, get it in, get it out. Just kidding. Hard. Chris is a saint. I know he is. So, so I'll ask you guys real quick, man. Cause a lot of people, you know, get to know you guys a little better through this. Like, you know, what was what was your influence in music? You know, when you started getting into into the thing, what made you pick up the guitar, or play the drums? You know, what 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 was your inspiration? No effects. Yeah. No effects, yeah. I think No Effects is a pretty common ground one. It was my first punk rock record. Yep. So long, and thanks for all the shoes. Yeah. Randomly picked it at a Venice Beach boardwalk CD store, mm-hmm. digging through. This one has like Neapolitan colors. No Effects, I've heard of them before. It might be dope. And it, first song, it's my job to keep punk rock really starts. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 12 years old, and that was it, man. And Ska, too. Ska was a big thing for me, like Left and Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Left yeah. and Jake and No Effects. Just yeah. Like, Huge. Changed my life. 
That was like the old Warp Tour days when Warp Tour came out. I'm trying to think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think for me, like with the first, I think it was, I think it, for me it was like Nirvana, like Unplugged in New York. You know what I mean? Uh, my dad, my dad loved that fucking Nevermind and Unplugged, and he yeah. would like play. We would like back in the day when you didn't have music accessible everywhere, we would have fucking listening parties in the living room. Yeah. And we would like intentionally put in the cassette tape and like play it on the big stereo, and it was like an event for the night, you know. Yeah. So yeah. pops would like sit me down and have me listen into like uh, his like his main albums were like, uh, Black Sabbath self titled, um, Nirvana Nevermind, yeah. and he like loved the fucking Eagles, man, and and he would point out. That was your dad, the yeah. Eagles. My yeah. Dad too. Yeah. My, yeah, dude, just like. He loved, like, I think a big part of why I'm obsessed with music is because my dad is, you know, he doesn't play anything, but he was always like, oh, listen to what they did here, and it yeah. made me really curious as a kid, like, oh, I want to figure out how they fucking did that yeah. shit, you know? Yeah. How did they fucking make all that work? What are harmonies? How does this coincide with this? And these fucking classical guitars over this percussion, and I just, I love, I'm fascinated by the fucking process of yeah. performing, composing, everything about music, man, so it's, it's just been, you know... In, it's awesome. in my blood since the fucking since the get go. Yeah, so I'm dumb older than you, so I'm like your dad. So the dad did. So <laughs> I remember when I was little, we drive to Vegas and we had the A track. It'd be uh, Willie Nelson, Waylon Willie. You know, yep, the A track. Yep. You know, you stick yeah. it in, you had cords on. You had the A B C and D. Yeah, that was an old school man, but. Yeah, no, same thing, man. I always played all kinds of music. And, you know, I remember when Nirvana came out, that just fucking crushed the hair bands. I was so happy. Yeah. I was yep. like, fuck yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I think we collectively hate hair metal, too. Yeah. <laughs> we say no, that. not Scotty. <laughs> we say that, though. I don't know. Just us two. We say that, though. I mean, we s- when we do the, I like some. When we do the Cobain cover. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, you guys, do, what, did you breathe? Pe- Fletcher from Pennywise. No, we did uh, Territorial Pissings. Territorial yeah. Pissings, yeah. Uh, when I saw Pennywise, Fletcher was like, man, this goes out to a bad motherfucker that put an end to a lot of bad hair metal. Yeah. In the 80s. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. So, again, you know, it's. So more back to because you know I've been listening to, to to you guys music a lot lately, man, and the lyrics are, are incredible. Thanks, you know, man. the lyrics are incredible. The ones I think about, so tired or what the what tired, the, tired. Yeah, that's yeah, amazing. Because yeah. I totally relate that. You know, it's, Thanks, you know man. talking about everything shut down. On the, and that's what started music here. Yep. You know, and yep. you know, I was like, you're fucked down playing music. I ain't shutting down for shit. And you know, you guys are supporting that. And Hell yeah. Just, you know, suits great fucking song. Thanks, man. Love that shit. The lyrics are just great, man. Everything is just. You guys, I mean, the more I, the more I listen to it, the more I get into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it's like now it's like, just like you know, once a week, dude, I, I got the Kyle Smith playlist to hit top to bottom. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh, jamming thanks, in man. here Appreciate in the restaurant that. and everybody. So it's yeah, dope. man, it's awesome, man. Yeah, it's you an know. interesting time to be writing songs, man. That whole shut down and shit. You just, uh, you know, that's all I could do. Yeah. That's all I could do is fucking record, yeah. rehearse, and play and write, and that yeah. was fucking it. You know, and so many bands. Just like locked the fuck down and just tracked and tracked and recorded and wrote and just launched out of the fucking gates when everything opened back up. You yeah. know, and yeah. a lot of good like music come out of COVID. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Yeah. 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 I feel like we were part of that train, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. So, <laughs> well, um, I know uh, so the people are gonna watch this and probably go out in a couple days, but uh, you guys will be in Vegas tomorrow. Vegas, Vegas, Vegas tomorrow. Vegas yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. And then uh, Ocean Beach, San the, Diego. The dates after Sunday. that. And where can people go, man? You know, just to. Uh, to find the dates, find where you're going to be at. KyleSmithJams.com. 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 Because Get your Kyle tickets. Smith music is taken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's others like Kyle Smith out there. You know, because yeah. it makes I'm like, oh, that definitely ain't his shit. There's you like, there's like 3,000. Yeah, for sure. Probably that have music out. 3,000 Kyle Smiths. There's some, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But. But there's only one one Kyle Smith that gets fucking down. You know what I mean? Like he's free right here. He's gonna fucking kill it. But I've had a couple of people. I really liked your acoustic record. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, you know, the one where there's no lyrics or words. <laughs> and it's just like, it's just like all pianos and yeah, sitars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I couldn't even see you got like record that. You know what I mean? But yeah. But yeah. So I hey, would man. sue that guy. <laughs> <laughs> if I was you. So so we'll finish off, man. So uh, with you know, each one of you guys just sort of uh, you know. Tell the tell the audience something that, that you know funny about yourself is that they they don't know. There's something unique about yourself. Uh, something unique about myself. I love cats. Ah, <laughs> I am seriously. <laughs> I really <laughs> love cats. <laughs> if I wasn't a musician, I'd probably be doing something with cats. That's for a living. Like a cat circus. 
Well, no. No? Not in cat circus. No? I probably would have become a vet and specialized yeah. in cats. All right. Probably what I would have done. Yeah. He is the animal whisperer at gas stations. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I seized it. Hell yeah. Uh, what's something super funny and interesting about you? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, I don't even. I don't even know. I'm just here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's got what do I love? Closet. What do you love? What do I love music? so much? I love music so much, though. I like to fingerboard. I'm not very good at it, but <laughs> I do love it. I do love tech decking. What do I love so much? Your son. <laughs> Really good at accents. Accents? <laughs> oh, like the... Oh, no, he yeah. is. At, like, impersonations and stuff. <laughs> oh, God, you, you, gotta, you gotta, gotta throw one down. Now you do do, do a mean impersonation, <laughs> bro. She left me in the eye doctor, and I was doing, like, the... Oh, something seems very interesting here. <laughs> something in your eyes. And I, I just... I think that I have such bad ADD that I do yeah. make up voices, and I do a lot of voices in the house and stuff. Lots of drugs. <laughs> yeah, the years of drug use. Years, <laughs> years of Echoing drugs. in the head. Echoing in the head. <laughs> Not now. Present. Not I present like to make that. really random voices, and I do it all the time, all day long. Sometimes you guys probably hear shit, yeah. and you have no idea what it was, but it was me saying something weird. Probably. You sound checking? I'm like, who the fuck's that guy on the mic right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. Hey, hey Kyle, you, you can't use it you, that you don't like peanuts because you threw that out last time. Peanuts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Definitely a, allergic to peanuts. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Something funny? Any, anything. Yeah, something unique. Something <laughs> something very, very funny and unique uh, besides playing music. Um, fuck. I got shot in the head when I was a kid with a BB gun. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's something with BB gun yeah. first. So, 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 I, so, with a BB gun, I got shot in the head when I was a kid, right? And like, when the shit hit my skull, it was like, rang my ears, and I like hit the floor, and I was like bleeding everywhere, and like cry. I was like twelve, right? right. So I was like bleeding everywhere, crying. This was in Camarillo, actually, and uh, and so I was like, fuck, that really sucked, and I thought that it healed up and everything, and then like a year later, my dad was like, my dad like. He was feeling the back of my head, and he's like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, you don't feel that in your fucking head? You still had it oh, in your head? Oh, your head stuck in your head? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, so, so, so I, oh, they took me to the dermatologist, and he, like, numbed me up and cut me open, and he pulled this fucking BB out of my head, like, a year later, <laughs> a year after it got shot in my skull. Nice. Oh, man. And, uh, I, I don't random. know. Super random. I just thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Shit, I, I still have it in a jar somewhere. It's pretty dirty. It's pretty gross. I still have it. I still have it in a fucking jar somewhere. Uh, yeah, like mm-hmm. in my kid stuff, you know. It was like my prized possession. Like this came out of my foot. This was in. This rode with me for a year, bro. <laughs> this fucking BB went on a Where ride. Where were you in Camarillo? Uh, over by like uh, Saint Mary Magdalene. Who shot you? Uh, my friend's little sister. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I grew up in Camry, we'd say my brother had his little butt, like little bull motorcycle, so yep. we'd ride the, the, the farm fields and the Mexicans would try to shoot us with like a little salt. Damn. Dude, get out of here. Dude, fucking, oh. fucking pellets with the Mexican right under your skin. What, BBs? What's a salt pellet? Oh, they salt pellet. Oh, yeah, that shit sucks. Yeah, those fucking Yeah, those fucking suck. We used to fuck with them and shit, and sometimes we get hit, sometimes we didn't. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. And they would, oh, there's all the bees out there and shit too. Sometimes fly and you go past these big ass beehives. One fell right in my mask and or my helmet in my ear, stung my ear. Like, oh, oh I jumped shit. off it and the Mexicans run and are shooting me. I was like, fuckers. Fuck, <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> it's a bad day. Camarillo, yeah. dude, it's tough. But yeah. no. <laughs> Hardcore city, man. Hardcore, dude. Fuck. Yeah. Camarillo was a great place to be a kid, dude. Yeah, 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 I, 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 I grew up in Camry too. Yeah, yeah. Camry, was, Camry High School, me too. Yeah, yeah. Scorpion. Until I was thirteen, yeah. man. I went to Cam, or until I was fourteen, I went to Cam High for like six months and then got expelled from everywhere. So you got some Scorpion in your blood? A little bit, a little yeah. bit. I was there for like six months. Officer Niebergall. Go Scorpions. Yeah, <laughs> Officer Niebergall popped me and got me an inner district transfer where you're not allowed to go back to the fucking Pleasant mm. Valley School District. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But we ended up all right, you know? Yeah, it turned out all We're right, here man. playing music and talking shit on a couch in a comfy green room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Life yeah, man, it was, it, was, it, was, it was cool, man. So you guys have been to our theater uh, doing that for the, um, the what was it? For the Action for Addicts benefit. Action for Addicts, yeah. yeah that yeah. was cool, yeah. man. That was yeah. very cool. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely cool. Fun. Yeah. But, hey, man, you guys, you know, hey, guys, uh, this will be on live. The, the, the show will be on live. 
And then uh, you can watch it on the live feed again. Yeah, buddy. You guys are going to fucking kill it, dude. I can't oh, wait, yeah. man. Thank you. Hey, thank thanks, you so man. Much. so much, dude. Appreciate it, awesome, bro. Man. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, love you guys. Appreciate it. Love you, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah, buddy. Bueno.